we're still moving through the 60s with Disc 64. Released in November 2000 alongside Issue 64, the official UK PlayStation magazine. There are six playable demos, five video previews, and one downloadable save. The ring style selection menu is back. Haven't seen that in a while. Let's jump straight into the demos. Action Man returns in a demo for Destruction X. Action Man, hero of the TV animated series, is out to stop Dr. X's latest plan for world conquest. Travel through 36 action packed missions from burning deserts to frozen tundras. You'll be fighting both on foot and in various vehicles. We saw the demo for the previous Action Man game on disc 55, and this game appears to be quite similar in terms of gameplay. Tries to do a lot of things at once, but spreads itself too thin. Just like before, this game is great for young kids, but adults may find it becomes dull after a while. Take to the streets in a GTA Killer demo for Driver 2. Gameplay is similar to the previous Driver game, with new features, including the ability to step out of the car and walk around on foot. There's also a mode called Take a Ride, which is a free drive mode, allowing you to explore the cities in your own time. Not only that, but there's also a two-player split-screen option. With all that and four huge cities to explore, Driver 2 has hours upon hours of driving action to enjoy. Despite this, review scores are released were merely average, with many complaints being raised by the numerous technical difficulties, including a short draw distance and choppy frame rate. The game still sold well, even making it to platinum. The demo gives you a chase mission.
For those of you who love weird and wacky Japanese games, try the demo for Incredible Crisis. A family is preparing to celebrate the grandmother's birthday, so they need to get presents and make it home. But as the day goes on, they keep getting into more and more crazy situations. Most of the game is presented as a series of mini-games, separated into chapters. Reviews are positive, with many critics enjoying the genre of minigame compilation this game started, which would eventually be dominated by the WarriorWare series. The demo puts you near the beginning of the first chapter, where you must escape your office as Taneo. I decided to hit the land train alone. Kostov agreed that was a good idea. He told me where to wait and what time. It wasn't all he told me. Of course, if you do get in, you'll never get out. Why not? My comrades in the north have planted the bomb on it. How terribly considerate of them. When's it due to go off? Ah, you should have a couple of hours. Why didn't you tell me earlier? You were so keen on rescuing the girl, I didn't want to spoil your fun. A couple of hours? Ah, more or less, give or take a few minutes. Well, you know how it is with us peasant armies. <laughs> Become a secret agent in the demo for In Cold Blood. I describe this one as the cross between Metal Gear Solid and James Bond. It's a 3D adventure game where players control John Cord, MI6 agent. He is sent into Russia to assist the resistance movement in stopping a state from invading its neighbors. Gameplay involves solving puzzles using random items and conversing with people you come across, a la Broken Sword. There's also a lot of action and fighting. Reviews were mixed. 
Many critics enjoyed the setting and story, but felt that the action and adventure were quite lacking. The demo has you infiltrate a giant land train. doesn't work. Great. But there's got to be another way up. Fire sensor. Could be useful. What else can you tell me? I know you're armed, but I have nothing else to tell Hit the slopes in the demo for Snowcross Championship Racing. It's snowmobile racing. There's seven tracks, including a level editor, and the snowmobiles were licensed from Yamaha. The game received average reviews, especially since this sort of game has been seen before, both the snowmobile racing and the track editor.
Here's the last demo on this disc, X-Men Mutant Academy. It's a one-on-one -on -one fighting game, and included nearly every X-Men character at the time, both classic characters and from the X-Men movie from 20th Century Fox. Each character has their own fighting moves and abilities, which can be activated using specific button combos. The game received decent reviews, being praised for the gameplay and graphics, although it was criticised for being a bit too similar to Street Fighter. The demo gives you a choice between Wolverine and Cyclops. Now let's see the previews. The first one is for Alien Resurrection. Second preview is for Dino Crisis 2. Third is Legend of Dragoon. Fourth is Prince Nassim Boxing. And the final preview is for This Is Football 2.
Here's a downloadable save. It's for Tenchu 2. It's not a save to help with progression, no. This save gives you a brand new mission, courtesy of the game's mission editor. You can even select what language you want for it. And thus we come to an end, Disc 64. Some interesting and varied demos we found on here for sure. On the next disc, Spyro makes his third debut, there's a groovy party in the jungle, and Crash takes on the multiplayer party genre. I'm the Advocate, and I'll see you there.